one. Hey guys, it's been a minute. Uh, first new video in a while. I'm excited to do it. I was just reading today on Bleeping Computer, which is one of my favorite sources just for up-to-date stuff. And I noticed, hey, there's a still vulnerabilities out there for this proxy shell vulnerability. And I was like, well, this looks like a good candidate to kind of walk through real world scenario. How would XDROP detect that? And it's Black Cat Ransomware Group, which we've seen an uptick on. I have another video walking through that that you can look at. But essentially what they're talking about today is they're seeing Black Cat take advantage of unpatched servers on they leverage the proxy shell exchange vulnerability. And the buildup to that, um, XDROP can really show off its uh, capabilities in the mid game, which is those detections that do scanning and enumeration and looking for credentials. So let's walk through what we would do on that. So there's a really good graphic that I'm gonna leverage and kind of back and forth that they put together. Use this as my challenge piece. Like, all right, this is the Black Cat you know, ransomware <clears throat> leveraging proxy shell and logon, how would extra detect it? So I'll move back and forth with this and we'll do kind of a lightning round here. All right, so exploits unpatched exchange server. So what would that look like? Let me go, um, let me kill this one actually. Let me go here. And so if you if you haven't seen my other video, I'm not gonna go through this, but I have a bunch of stuff on Black Cat ransomware that I did a couple of weeks, uh, a couple months ago. So take a look at that. And so essentially we have a threat briefing for proxy shell. This will show you your exchange servers and detection exploits. So that's first and foremost, someone's trying to come in. You need decryption turned on for this to work. Very powerful. All right, I don't have decryption on Josh. I still wanna see what's going on. Okay, what else happens? All right, let's move on. What's the next part of that? Okay, so we're, we're inside, we got inside the exchange server was unpatched. Now we're gonna collect system and network information. We're gonna enumerate the data in a number of different ways and we're gonna gather active directory data. That's part of that discovery phase. It's really important. That's that ransomware mid game that we're talking about. All right, so we're gonna do account numeration. We have that detection. So we're gonna look, for, we're gonna see when you're doing unusual Windows account numeration. You're gonna do network share enumeration. You're gonna do active directory enumeration as well. And then so once we, we see all those things, we have detections for all those because you have to act on the network. So now we see all that. All right, X drops pop in detections. You're starting to take a look and you say, what's going on? Now, credential theft. So obviously your EDR and SAMR is gonna help detect this as well, but we have um, the ability to see remote registry modification. If I'm gonna do um, credential theft, I'm gonna to have to do some remote registry. Typically, I'm gonna to have to get in. Not always, just depends on how you're accessing it, but this is one of the ways that we can see a remote procedure call, try to change the registry to be able to do some credential dumping or put in some malware that's gonna do and accomplish the game of getting the credentials. All right, so now we've got the credentials. Now I'm gonna do some lateral movement. This is really important. I'm gonna use Typically RDP in a Windows world is the malicious tool of choice. So you really want to try to lock that down. So what? how do we detect that? So once we've been in, I got the credentials. Now I want to try to get inside and move around. So we see this unusual traffic from remote desktop. We have internal and external. We got lots of detectors for this. This is a really good one for XDrop because RDP uses certain protocols and it's talking to certain IPs. We can detect when that's unusual. Josh's laptop or this Windows VM or this Kubernetes cluster usually doesn't do RDP this way. This container usually doesn't do RDP this way. And so boom, we're gonna, we're gonna pop a behavior anomaly for you on that. And then we can send that directly to your existing security tools to stop it in its tracks, right? Okay, so now we got that one covered for RDP. So users using Megasync or Arclone. So this is essentially going to be some variation of what we call DC sync. So that's going to be basically trying to get um, credentials and um, upping your game with uh, harvesting administration credentials by em emulating a domain controller. It's one of the ways we can do that. So we may be able to detect that with some of our DC sync profiling. All right. And then using PS exec to distribute Black Cat Merrill. I've been, I was looking at a Reddit th fed uh, thread yesterday that People are concerned about PS exec. This is Microsoft, a tool for administrative privileges and delivering payloads it can be used for good, but it can also be used for bad. So if someone wants to deliver malware quickly, have an auto start, you know, the black hat ransom is taking, taking advantage of that. You know, they're basically hiding in the forest because so many people are using it and it's hard to tell what's good and what's not, what's not good. And that double extortion is not only are they taking their data, they're essentially encrypting your data, but they're taking it and potentially if you don't pay, they're going to, they're going to post patient records, people, you know, information about your company online. Right. So that's what that double extortion is. So what do we do for the PS exist part of it? What's that look like? So we have the file transfer, unusual file transfer. So if you're looking at a Windows shared and we're moving with PS exec, we're gonna see that certain path that's gonna be hit. That's unusual because PS exec is gonna be loading some kind of payload. And it's like, boom, we pop that and say, hey, that payload's strange. It's strange to use that executable. Um, and then a, unusual interactive traffic from external endpoint. Once I get PS exec loaded, usually I'm gonna have to call home. There's gonna be some external, I have to get out some way. And so the external endpoint, you know, gone are the days that geomap matters, those type of things. Like I'm gonna try to hide in like a, a cloud. If I was gonna attack you, I was gonna hide in some cloud cloud systems with, and just grab a random IP that's AWS or Azure GCP. And I'm going to use that as my next hop, but we can see that that's a new IP. That's strange. That's unusual for this device to have that external endpoint. And we can also start to look at 
um, the ability to see command and control from that as well. So we're going to see like, all right, we see command and control beaconing as well happening from that. All right, so in summary, proxy shell to get in, patch those servers. We see this mid game of discovery, credential threat, lateral movement and exfiltration really well. And then we're gonna be able to see some of that PS exec activity when they load malware. And so I think this is an attack that XDrop would do relatively well on. Thanks for your time, appreciate it.